Good morning, dear children. Today we are going to continue with chapter four, practical geometry. So, do you remember what are the topics we have learned in chapter four? We have learned the four methods how to construct a quadrilateral. So, when four sides and two diagonals are given, that is the first method. And second one, when three sides and two diagonals are given, how you will construct? Then three sides and two included angles are given means how you will construct a quadrilateral. So these are some of the methods we have learned. Then the last class we have learned about some special cases. So how to construct a square and rhombus we have seen. So today we are going to see how to construct a rectangle. So with the heading was some special cases, right? So in some special cases, the first two methods was how to construct a square and how to construct a rhombus we have seen by applying the property of square and rhombus. So here, today we are going to see how to construct a rectangle. Okay, so here two sides, but two adjacent sides are given. Okay. Here a rectangle with adjacent sides of length 5 cm and 4 cm. So first what you want to do? You want to draw the rough sketch. You want to draw the rough sketch. So now we are going to draw the rough sketch. Draw a rectangle. Here they did not mention any name for the rectangle. So we can take PQRS. P Q R S. So we have given the name PQRS and what is given in the question adjacent sides. So here what are the opposite sides in this rectangle what are the opposite sides SR and PQ are the opposite sides. Then another pair RQ and SP are the opposite sides. So adjacent sides means we can say this side. SR and RQ. We can say SR and RQ are the adjacent sides. Or we can say SR and SP are adjacent sides. Another pair we can say PQ and RQ are adjacent sides. Or we can say PQ and SP are the adjacent sides. So adjacent sides means nearby. This side and this side we can take. Or we can take this and this. So any two adjacent sides we can take. Okay, so here in the question they have given the measurement for the adjacent side. So 5 cm. So we are taking PQ is equal to 5 cm. And 4 cm we will take here QR. QR. If you want you can take SP also. Okay, so any two adjacent side you can take. So I am taking here PQ 5 cm and RQ 4 cm. Okay, so now you apply the property of rectangle. Opposite sides are equal. In rectangle, opposite sides are equal and all angles are equal to 90 degree, right? This is 90 degree, this is 90 degree, this is 90 degree, this is 90 degree. So all the angles are equal, that is equal to 90 degree. Then opposite sides are equal. So opposite sides are equal means here PQ. What is the opposite side of PQ? Yes, R. So we can say that PQ is equal to SR. Why? Because opposite sides are equal. PQ is equal to SR. That means SR is equal to 5 cm. So what is the opposite side of RQ? SP. So SP also 4 cm. Okay. So this is the rough figure. We have constructed the rough figure. Now according to this rough figure you are going to construct a rectangle so you know to take angle right here 90 degree so how you will construct an angle first you will construct 60 degree next you will construct 120 degree then 90 degrees in between 60 and 120 so next we will construct 90 degree so here according to this rough sketch we are going to construct the rectangle okay now let's construct it So first you are going to draw PQ is equal to 5 cm. First you are going to construct PQ is equal to 5 cm. So take a scale, draw 5 cm. Now 
Okay. So we have constructed a line segment PQ. Five centimeter. Okay. Next, what you want to do? You want to construct the angle. So, what is an angle measurement? Ninety degrees. So, you are going to construct an angle ninety degree. At the point P, you are going to construct ninety degree, and for Q also, you are going to construct ninety degree. So, take a small measurement in this compass. Construct the angle. So keep at the point P, draw an arc. The same way you want to construct here. So first we will construct at P ninety degree. Then you want to keep at this point, cut an arc. What is this angle, children? It is sixty degree. Next at the point we will keep the compass at sixty degree. We will construct one twenty degree. Okay. Next ninety is in between sixty and one twenty. So next you are going to construct ninety degree. Okay, I think you are very good in making angles because throughout this chapter you are constructing an angle by compass, right? So we got here this point. This is ninety degree. Next, what you want to do? You want to join this. Okay, just extend the line. Okay. Now same way at this point Q construct ninety degree. Take a compass. Keep at the point P. Draw an arc. Next, keep at this point. Cut an arc. Next, keep at this point. Cut another arc. One twenty. Then we'll keep at this point sixty. Cut one arc. Then we'll keep at this point one twenty. Cut another arc. We got a point. The same way you are constructing ninety degree. Okay. Now here also just extend the line. Okay. Extend it. Yeah. Now, QR. What is the measurement of QR? Four centimeter, right? Then what is the measurement of PS? Four centimeter. So opposite sides are equal, right? So in a compass, take four centimeter. Okay, measure it four centimeter. Then you are going to keep the compass at the point P. Cut an arc. Here also same measurement, right? So then keep at the point Q. Cut an arc. Yeah. Now we got the point. So what is this point, children? R. And here, yes. What is the measurement? Four centimeter. Here also four centimeter. Don't forget to. Write the measurements. Now, next you are going to join. Yes, R. You are going to join S R. So we have constructed the rectangle. Okay, children. Next, you want to write the steps. So refer the textbook and write, read the steps and write in your own words. You can write the steps in your own words. Okay. I'll explain one more time, children. So first, you want to read the question. Here adjacent sides are given in the question. Adjacent sides are given, so we'll draw the rough sketch. Then, since for the rectangle, what is the property? Opposite sides are equal, so we'll apply that property and we'll complete the rough sketch. Next, according to the rough sketch, you are going to draw the fair diagram. So first, we are drawing PQ five centimeter. We all know that all the Angles are equal in a rectangle. That is equal to ninety degree. So we'll construct at this point P ninety degree, and Q also will construct an angle ninety degree. Next, what you will do? You will take four centimeter in a compass, and we'll cut an arc. We'll keep at the point P, cut an arc. That is yes. Then we'll keep at the point Q, and we'll cut an arc. That is R. Next, we'll join S R. Okay, so this is we got a rectangle. Then you will write the steps according to the how you have constructed the rectangle. According to that, you can write your steps. Refer the textbook, read it, and write it in your own words. Okay, children. So next, we are going to see a how to construct a parallelogram. The second question is. 
a parallelogram. What is the name of the parallelogram? OK, OK, AY, where OK is equal to 5.5 cm and K is equal to 4.2 cm. So, first thing what you want to do? You want to draw the rough sketch. You want to draw the rough sketch. So, what is the property of parallelogram, children? Opposite sides are parallel and equal. Do you remember this? So, first you are going to draw a parallelogram. A rough sketch. And what is the name of the parallelogram? O, K, A, Y. So, O, K, A, Y. And O, K, what is the measurement given? 5.5 centimeter. 5 point, where is OK? OK. So 5.5 cm. Then what is the other measurement? K is equal to 4.2 cm. Where is K? K is equal to 4.2 cm. Next, you are going to apply the property of parallelogram. So what is the property of parallelogram? Opposite sides are equal and parallel. So here, what is the opposite side of OK? Y A is opposite side. And for K A what is an opposite side? O Y. So we know that in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal. So O Y also is equal to 4.2 cm and Y A is also equal to 5.5 cm. So next thing what you want to do? You want to draw the fair. Fair diagram you want to draw. So you are, you are going to construct a parallelogram according to this rough sketch. So let's do it. So first thing what you are going to do. So you are going to draw a line segment. OK is equal to 5.5 cm. So now draw a line segment 5.5 cm. Measure it 5.5 cm. Yeah. So we have constructed, name it as O and K, what is the measurement? 5.5 centimeter. So next thing what you are going to do, here they did not have given any angles. So then how you will draw 4.2? We want to cut an arc, right? But no angles are given. So what you will do? You are going to draw the parallel line. So we have constructed a line segment OK of 5.5 cm. Next, angle is not given. So we are going to make a parallel lines. We all know that for a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal and parallel. Since they did not mention any angles, we are going to construct a parallel lines. So for constructing a parallel lines, we are using here compass. Okay. Take any measurement. Take any measurement. So keep at the point O and just draw a arc. Keep at the point O and draw a arc. The same way keep at the point K and draw an arc of any radius. Next. You got a meeting point, right? So, I will mark it so it will be easy for you to understand. So, I am going to mark this point. Okay. So, next I am going to keep the compass at this point. And I am going to cut an arc. I am going to cut an arc. Of same radius. Okay. Don't change. Of the same radius you want to draw here. So, before that. Here you just extend the line. You can use a dotted line for extending. Okay. Just extend the line. So you got here one meeting point. Right. So I will mark with a marker. Okay. So this is one meeting point. So this radius. Okay. Don't change this. Okay. Same radius. This radius. Keep at this point and cut an arc. Now here you got a meeting point. Okay. Now this angle and this angle are same because same measurement, right? So now you are going to join this point. O and this point. O and this point just join and extend the length. Same way this K and this point. Keep at this point, extend it. So we got two parallel lines. So now understood how we are constructing a parallel line. 
Now, what is K A measurement? Four point two, right? Now take this K measure measure in compass four point two centimeter. Keep at the point because both sides four point two centimeter, right? So you can keep at the point K, cut an arc. Keep at the point O, cut an arc. So what is the name of this point? K A, right? So this point is A and O Y. So this point is Y. Now you are going to join A Y. Just join A Y. Okay. So what is the measurement here? Four point two and here also four point. So we have constructed a parallelogram, right? So I'll explain one more time. Just draw the rough sketch. For parallelogram, what is the property? Opposite sides are equal and opposite sides are parallel. Keep in mind, opposite sides are equal and opposite sides are parallel. So first, we will draw a line segment. OK is equal to 5.5 centimeter. Next, no angles are given in this question. So we are going to apply the property. What is the property of parallelogram? Opposite sides are parallel. We are going to apply that property. So how you will construct a parallel line? Take a compass of any radius. Keep at the O point. Draw an arc. Keep at the point K. Draw an arc. Then take any any radius. Keep at this point. Cut an arc. Don't change the same radius. You are going to keep at extend this line and keep at this point and cut an arc. So this angle and this angle are same. Now join the line and extend it. Next, in a compass, take four point two centimeter. Keep at the point K, cut an arc A. Then keep at the point O, cut an arc Y. Then join A Y. You got a parallelogram. Then you can write the steps. Read the textbook, refer the textbook, and write write the steps. So this is the last problem of chapter four. So we have completed all the problems. So we have learned how to construct an quadrilateral. We have learned four methods and some special cases. We have learned what are the special cases to construct a square, rhombus, and today we have seen how to construct a rectangle and a parallelogram. Okay, children. So please go through the topic topics and complete your classwork note and do your practice work. Okay, children. Thank you children have a nice day see you in the next session bye bye